Hi everybody, this is Deanna. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming on to just do a quick tutorial. I am working on a, a swap and it's, um, I'm using the Maggie Holmes um, collection and I'm not, I'm using a couple of different collections of hers, but I have been making pokey tools as one of the, um, things on the list and so I made this one and I wanted to make a box to put it in. I know that there's a couple out there, tutorials out there, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. So, um, so I've just kind of whipped this up and I thought I'd share. So this is the box that I did make and Let's see, it just opens, and I wanted to put some really pretty um, paper down and um, house it in this little box to put it in the swap. So, <clears throat> so I thought that I'd make one with you. What you need is, if you want a window, you're going to need a die. I, pref I like this one, so this is the one I'm going to use. You're going to need a piece of acetate. Only if you're making the window in the box. This is the liner um, to go down inside the box. And this is a, oh, just over six and a half by two and then you're going to need two pieces of paper this is going to be the bottom the bottom is going to be four by eight and a half and this one is three and a half by eight so what you're going to do is get out your scoreboard And you're going to score at one inch on all four sides. And this is for the bottom piece. Okay. So you have that. It looks like this. So one inch, all four sides. And then this is the top piece and the top piece I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. That way it lifts up a little bit. done with your scoreboard. The next thing you're going to want to do is <clears throat> I like to do this before I go any further. I like to find where you want your window. I like the window kind of up high so that when the your recipient gets the um, pokey tool in its box, it can see the pretty charms and the top of the pokey pin. So I like to go, and this is really cutting it close. So, um, so I kind of lay it down. Then I get out a little bit of washi to hold it down. I'm going to run it through my my die cut machine real quick.
And then I'm going to turn it over, take some very fine double back tape here for the corners. And a little thicker one on top. take my little piece of acetate. What I did was I just cut a piece accordingly and I can trim up around the edges. Like I said, this is cutting it very close. <clears throat> but it works. to cut along the that way you can fold it okay <clears throat> so let's cut a little bit more and I, I like to take my time. Um, I don't like to rush because it seems like when I rush, I that's when I make mistakes or it just comes out wonky or <clears throat> so there. Hold on your score lines. Okay. Looks like a little bit of sticky. And here I'm just making little slices. I think that you guys have all done this. And I like to do it on the long way. Again, this is your top piece. And if you want to cover up um, the back here, you can. Um, what you would need to do is cut out another piece and then attach it before you run it through your die so you have a window through that. And that way the people don't see this. Um, the glue and stuff on on the acetate if you want to make it fancy i don't i mean most people they're gonna get the box and they're gonna pay attention more to the pokey tool and what's inside the box than the lid so so then you just fold it up 
I'm going to put this aside and do the bottom real quick. Again, on the long side, I'm just going to cut my little I don't know what you call these, just your little triangles. That way you get a good fit. I just try to go right on the outside of the score marks on both sides. And they don't have to be perfect. But again, take your time, make it nice for your recipient. I guess that's why I'm such a slow crafter is because I just, I just take my time and, um, Really try to be accurate. And I think it gives you a little better quality as well. I mean, for somebody, instead of somebody rushing through and just, you know, like an assembly line and just throwing them together. So, so I want this. I want the blue to be the, on the outside. So now you want your wet glue. Again, I use Barely Arts. I love it. I have tried lots of glues and this is by far my favorite. You just need just a little amount too and I do the tabs on the inside and I just match them up. Nice and evenly. Hold it down. Okay, now I'm gonna go in. Add my glue. it's nice and even okay so for the top <clears throat> gonna do the same thing but let's see here add a little glue Hold it there. So I like how the flowers are going here. So I'm going to make this the top, not the bottom. And I added this little piece of paper. Um, just because I thought that that might be too much, too busy. Then I'm going to put the box on and I'm going to glue this while the box is on. So 
so I get a nice, perfect, snug fit. One thing about this though, it seems like I have to poke it a lot to, especially on camera. Okay, so then I'm just gonna hold that down. And we have a box. So now I wanna show you why I wanted this size. So it fits perfectly. The sides are a little higher than the bottom, so that's great. And then I have the shred, and I tried to do some Maggie Holmes colors and some colors that match this paper collection. So I just put it in there and then I'm going to take this and lay it right in there and see how pretty she is in there and put the lid on and there you have it. So now this is <clears throat> ready to go. Um, this is <clears throat> actually going to be the hostess gift. So I made um, my recipient one. I don't know who that is yet. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. So um, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial um, helps you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'm so close to 500 and I'm really excited. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.